Alright, what's up guys? So today I'm going to be showing you guys um, how to stream basically using Remote Play and Streamlabs. This is all together. This is how I use it for my stream. Granted, my quality isn't the best because it's due to the computer that I'm using. But if you have a faster computer, then it should be no problem. Alright, so first thing you're going to want to do is download Remote Play for PS4. And then it should be the first one right here. And then depending on which one you guys would have, if it's Windows or Mac, I have Windows, but I already downloaded it. So you guys would just go ahead and click this. And it does have some requirements as well. Um, but for this, you have to make sure that your PS4 and basically this, the remote play, is updated to its newest update. And then once you go ahead and update that and then install it basically as an application, you're gonna want to go ahead and click here on remote play it should install or you should have the option to install it on your desktop so you go ahead and do that and then right here before you log in or anything it should like ask you for settings okay so i'm at the part where i need to enable remote play on the ps4 so you go to settings you go to remote play connection settings you put enable remote play and then I believe it's add device, but since I'm already using it, it's not gonna let me. And so basically just enable it there and make sure that you, the PS4 and then your computer or laptop is connected to the exact same uh, network. And right here you go to PlayStation Network. You could go ahead and sign in. I think I already signed in. Yeah, so I'm already signed in. For this, I did have a couple complications. I do know like a friend, he said um, you needed supposedly PlayStation Plus in order to use this PS4 remote play. And that's actually not necessary because I logged it in both. This is my secondary account. And then my first account has a PlayStation Plus and then it didn't need the PlayStation Plus. So this is the one that doesn't have it. See, this is my old account. This is the one that had the PS Plus. And then this is the one without it. And I've logged in perfectly, it's fine. Basically what you need to change is your video quality depending on your computers, how fast it is, and also the internet speed. For mine, since I have the first generation, it's the highest is gonna go to 720. And then the frame rate, uh, you could do high if you have good like fast internet connection to the PS4. But if not, you could just go ahead and do standard. Um, it's basically like the frames per second. And this one you could use a keyboard if like let's say in game you're adding a friend or something you could use your keyboard but that's up to you and you just go ahead and press ok once you have logged into your ps4 or to your sign in and then from there uh you could go ahead and either press start here or press start on your controller and i'll show you guys how to do that all right so for this part of the step uh what you're gonna want to need is basically the little cable to plug into your PS4 remote control. These are just a little charging one. This is just an extension because it's too short. This isn't the actual one, but it's fine. And then you plug that into your USB port on the computer or laptop in my scenario. And then don't mind the box. <laughs> oh, make sure your PS4 is turned on as well. Um, see how the computer already recognized it as the as a controller. But make sure your PS4 is turned on. To go ahead and do that, you can either press the options button in your controller or you could go ahead and press start. I'll press start here. And it should be connecting. Mine is a little quicker because it's already loaded in. But yours, it should, for the first time, it should take a while. And then once we're there, I'm already logged in. And then, so there I could basically play on my laptop. The lag, honestly, with the controller isn't that bad. It's pretty accurate to what I'm looking at on my screen. So yeah, I have them both here. And this is them side by side. So as you can see, it is barely like by probably half a second. There's a little latency, but it really isn't that bad. Okay, and then from there, I'm gonna show you guys as well how to set up the mic. So you could talk to party and it will be streaming to your stream. So what you're gonna wanna do from remote play is basically so I'm using a headset right now um, that's what I'm using to record but what you're gonna do is just like a regular gaming headset if you have it or not you're gonna want to plug it into your headphone jack or mine is only has one it should if you have like a desktop you should most likely have two one for the headphones and then for the microphone um, if you have a USB one as well that should work 
but in my case it's just a single port and then once you go ahead and do that part you're gonna want to go to settings and then right here choose your output it's sync speakers but it's really going to my headphones and then here choose your input device this is going to be the mic that you plugged in in my case it's mic at the front panel it's the 3.5 millimeter but if you have a usb it should say like usb or whatever kind of microphone you have um so see as you can see it is moving but it's really faint but that's just how it's reading it but on the streamlabs i fixed it changed the mic did noise cancellation and everything so that's that but once it's enabled you're fine go ahead and exit that out and then once you go to remote play go ahead and here press the little mic button and it's going to say who's using that device and then so i go ahead and press this account and as you can see it switched to a microphone that's on the remote play device which is the one that's on my computer here and for example like say you're saying to start operation with your voice say playstation so i could say playstation start messages so see so it goes ahead and opens it playstation home screen so basically you can't say anything with it so like since right now i'm talking look how the the little bar is going down so basically what you're going to want to do is because right now i'm still reading my mic as you guys can see it works once i stop talking it goes away playstation see how it opens up and see how there's a little bar on the side so basically it's not going to read it right now because i've been talking a lot so once that's set up you could go into a party chat and i'll show you guys here i'll create one real quick okay see how my microphone is moving here i'll stay quiet watch hello so see how it moves when i'm talking so that is registering to the thing and it's also right here you go to sound devices adjust microphone level and it's listening to me talk um if this case is not working for you what you probably need to do is go to your settings go to devices and go to audio devices and input make sure that the input is that microphone on remote play device so it's going to be whichever mic is on your computer and then i'll put i guess you could just leave it at tv or whichever but yeah as you can see it's working perfectly my it's recording on my stream as well as it's recording i could talk to my friends and everything and in this case so once you have the headphones plugged into your computer you could still listen to the party chat in through the headphones because everything that's being recorded is going through remote play so you won't have any problems with party chat or anything like that okay so once you're at streamlabs what you're going to want to do is go to your editor basically go to sources or create a new scene then go to sources create a new source and then it should be window capture yeah so you're gonna go ahead and press window capture and i'll create a new one mine's already recording so i'll put gameplay add a new source and then from here you're gonna want to go ahead have um remote play open so if you have it minimized it's not going to work so what you're going to want to do is keep it open and then go to streamlabs again and then go to remote play here and i'm not going to capture cursor because i don't want to show it once i'm away if i have it open to the stream so just keep it done and from here you could go ahead and fix it and adjust it and everything this one you're going to want to adjust it to fit screen and then or i guess you could do stretch so transform stretch and just extend the bars until you could finally see it on the side or until the black bars aren't showing anymore okay and as you can see my microphone is being recorded here and on input device it's um, still a microphone and i'll show you guys in the party chat that it is also working so it is um recognizing my voice both in the stream and in game and then as well if you have someone in here in the party it will output that sound as well but yeah that's basically how you do it that's how you get the microphone from the computer into remote play all using one microphone both getting the party chat and your chat or your voice as well and then that's as well how you stream from your laptop to a source like twitch or youtube and get a gameplay as well so that's how you do it that's how you do the most simplest thing 
um i do have another one that you do require two microphones but in that case you could play with the remote controller um you could play it disconnected so you could play it freely the controller won't have any cables connected to it or anything and if you guys did want to see that tutorial um just let me know in the comments i could drop that as well but as of right now this is a best one for me i just recently tried this and it does work and i don't have any complications with it as as of now but if i do come up with anything i will i'll be sure to let you guys know thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next one